I'm Reinaldo Martorell. I'm a professor of nutrition at the Department of Global Health at Emory University. I have worked in nutrition for about 35 years. Anemia is a very low concentration of red blood cells and its causes are many. About half of anemia worldwide is caused by iron deficiency. In some countries, uh, genetic abnormalities like sickle cell uh, are causes of anemia, but again, the, about half of all anemia is due to iron deficiency. Anemia is a, a very important problem in public health. Um, it has uh, many, many consequences, and uh, a key consequence is the result of the shortage of red blood cells, and red blood cells deliver oxygen to all organs and tissues, and so if you have anemia, it means you're not getting enough oxygen, which means you feel tired, you feel lethargic, your capacity to do work uh, is also impaired. And another consequence is that anemia can cause impairment of, of child development and, and learning. So this is a, a, an important issue that has uh, long-term consequences for individuals and societies. It increases the risk uh, of mortality uh, in women uh, at childbirth, and this is due to an interaction with, uh, between anemia and hemorrhaging. A normal uh, woman uh, might tolerate uh, some bleeding, but if the woman is anemic, particularly severely anemic, any amount of bleeding uh, will cause death. Costa Rica is a small country in Central America. It's really a pioneer in uh, food fortification. It's been fortifying, for example, wheat flour for, for quite a long time. It currently fortifies a basket of foods, uh, a variety of foods including sugar, salt, uh, flours, wheat, and corn. Together with um, colleagues from Costa Rica, uh, we conducted an evaluation of the food fortification program in Costa Rica uh, several years ago. Costa Rica improved the, the quality of the iron that was being added to wheat flour and to uh, corn flour and to milk and began using uh, compounds that were well absorbed. And uh, we looked at a national survey and we were able to compare uh, the prevalence of anemia in both women and children before and after these changes were made and found uh, there was a remarkable reduction uh, in women. Anemia was reduced from 18 to 10 percent and in children from 19 to 4 percent. So there was evidence of a strong impact due to uh, the fortification program of Costa Rica. There are important lessons uh, uh, that Costa Rica provides for other countries. Uh, in some countries, the uh, compounds that are being used uh, to uh, fortify uh, foods with iron are not very good co compounds, and they may want to take a look at the program in Costa Rica and think about uh, what they might do uh, to improve that aspect. They also need to look at uh, dietary surveys to see if the foods that are being fortified are being consumed by the population that is a priority uh, population in order to, to reduce anemia. And they can also look at, at the monitoring system that Costa Rica has, uh, and also uh, at the design of the evaluation that Costa Rica used. I think if countries do this, they will improve uh, uh, the impact of their programs.